Hi and welcome back to another web authoring video. This one is for the 2015 paper and there is a suggested time of 35 minutes. Um, you can use any appropriate software. Because this is a Mac I'm using, I will be using Composer, um, so which is free. Task WA1, Duncan's Villa uh, Hotel Group has a website that includes information about hotels. The homepage of the website is called index.html. Frederick wants you to add web pages about the tourist attraction near each hotel. The web page will be saved as London, Hong Kong, and Chennai. The web pages must be based on the, this design, so you've got a design there. Two rows, three, uh, two rows, two columns. Background color is pale yellow. Text color is dark blue. And you have to have. So you're going to have to create three different pages, one for London, one for Hong Kong, one for Chennai. Use the information in the tourist file and also pictures that are saved as well. Um, so what we need to do, first of all, my advice, because there are three pages, to create the index file using this template. So go to Composer, Composer. We have a blank page, close that. And uh, we want two rows, two columns. Insert, uh, table. But because they're separate, we should create one row, two columns. And then underneath, underneath, another one, one row, two columns. And then highlight, right click, table cell properties, and table, and we make these zero. So you don't see the, the, the borders. Same with this one here. Right click, table cell properties, and we don't see the borders. Okay, press OK. Now, that's where I need to go and make the border width. So this one's got to be on the left. And the top one needs to be on the right. Sorry, that's on the left. This one's on the right. Get my left and my right mixed up. Company name is Duncan's Villa. Duncan's Villa Hotel Group. Like so, uh, I'm going to highlight, I'm going to first go to uh, format page colors and we need to add the color. So pale yellow is the background and dark blue is the text. Like so, we'll make this bigger. Right, so I'm going to choose the heading style here and we'll center this. Then we want some links to the home page and all the other pages. So we know they are, um, so we want home, uh, London, Hong Kong, Chennai. And I will center these. Like so. And I will save this as index.html. This is my home page. And I'm going to save this as index.html. Because then it makes it easier to do. Save. Next, I want to do the next page. Create the user logo you created task AG1. Um, I'll, put, I'll have to create that in a second. Actually, I can do that now. Uh, da, da, da. Go to images. Um, I'm going to create one. So I will use this sort of thing. Open with uh, GIMP.
and what I'll do is I will make this canvas size, I'm going to make it bigger, so I'll make that white, and height will be uh, 600, the size, you should see the bottom, uh, I think we need to add uh, something at the bottom there, uh, da, 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 da. I set a new layer, create a new layer, and I will say white and OK. I'm going to put that there. There we go. So that's transfer. I can see it. And I need to have the right word DHG 2000. DHG 2000 here. Move it around. Oops, control Z. File, export as, and we'll call this logo. Export. If you have problems clicking on that button, just move away, and then you should be able to do it like that. That's sometimes what I've done. Then we'll just move that out of the way for a minute because we'll come back to that. And on here, I will insert my logo, insert image. And we'll put our logo. Right, we'll turn it text here. Logo. Press OK. Oh my goodness, that's too big. Need to make that smaller. Like so. And then I just save that to command and S. <clears throat> I go, uh, this time I need to do London. London, I think it's very simple. I just need to use layout for London. So just go back, find the information about London. And I want London here. I don't <coughs> need to name it London. Perhaps I do. Perhaps I do, I don't know. Maybe I will. London. <coughs> and then over here, I've got highlight. Choose heading two. Um, heading three. We'll center this one. And we've got this written here. Uh, I need the picture. So I think let's put the picture just here. Insert image and I will find a picture of London. So uh, London, London, which is this one here, press OK. Um, I don't have to use alternate text, so I can click here, press OK and send to that. Uh, so that should go in. And I will go file and not save, but save as, because you don't want to save over it, and we'll call it London. And save. Then the next one we want is of Chennai and the temple. Uh, of course, we want to change the title, I think, so I can, or what, I can change the title here. Save and... Uh, Now I can change the title here by going to, I'll do that again, file and save and change character encoding. So I call this London, like so. So it'll change the title there, save the place, and it'll change that to London. Um, yes, we'll open up the, the template again. And we'll copy Chennai. Actually, I'll copy Hong Kong first. Go backwards. And inside here, I'll find a picture of Chennai. Insert image. And go over here. And Chennai. So 
think is the temple. Colombo is in Sri Lanka. Uh, so I think this is Chennai. Press OK. Uh, although you want to use the one that is the uh, your altered picture. So you want to use the one where you've cut out the people. OK. I'll just make that small as well. You want to use the one where you've altered it rather than it's the one that you've altered before. Right click if it's too big, just right click image properties and we can make it smaller. So if you have to, 2500, uh, we can even do it like that as well. I'm going to change this to 750. Oh no, no. There we are, perfect. Uh, so, of course, you're using the one where you've taken out the bits there. Uh, highlight. And we'll put this as the same as we had before, heading two. Heading three, center that. And we'll save and change this time to July. And call this July. And then finally, um, I think I put Hong Kong here. I've done the wrong one. I need to change the picture to Hong Kong. So insert Hong image. Always get your picture right. Don't put the wrong one. If you get the wrong one, you, you'll lose marks, as I would have just done then. So go back to image and Hong Kong. And of course, press OK. Uh, don't use, we'll say don't use this time. Right, OK. That works better. This is Hong Kong. Good. So I'm going to save and change. I'm going to call this Hong Kong because it actually is Hong Kong. Uh, uh, we'll change right Hong Kong on here. Which is what it's asked us to do. And then finally, we want to do the other one. So I'm going to open up file, the index file again. In fact, I think I've got one already. I thought I should I because I saved it as the wrong thing. So I go back to should I uh, because I did that as something else. Uh, we've already set it up. So all I'll do is short temple July so I can do July short temple I've got the temple but of course I haven't changed it I should change it and down here I need to put my writing copy that Like that. Uh, so we've got July. This time we need that picture changed. <coughs> so I could go back to the temple, just right click, open with, and GIMP. And I remember, if I can remember rightly, we had to cut off, crop as close as we can to this side. And then we had to zoom in. Is it command? I can do this. And we use the clone tool where I can select using command and click.
try to get as best as you can. And all we then do, I'm going to save, I'm going to export that as July this time. And add that in. If you find you can't do it, like I've just done there, just move it down and export. It should work. There we go. If I then delete this, I then go to insert image, find the image, should I press open, don't use. Uh, we'll change the size this time to make it more suitable. So actually, I'm going to put 700 press ok and then that fits and the final bit you have to do we just save this the final bit is actually the uh hyper the link so just highlight each one home we uh create a link i find where i'm going to save it to or send it to which should be indexed press open uh, open again london right click Great link. Uh, we then send this one to the London one. And then finally, we do the Hong Kong one. Do, oh, no, not that one. Hong Kong. <coughs> Press OK. And then finally, should I right click, create link, and we go desktop, web all three, task three, and should I and press OK. And all I do, we don't have to repeat it, we just highlight and copy. So command C, go back to home, paste, which is command V. Command V and Command V, like so. I can go File and Save, File and Save, File and Save, File and Save, File and Save. And all I need to do, I'm going to close these now. And it says on the next page, open a new word process document, enter WA1 on the footer. Uh, I'll close this. So I need to put WA1 in the footer. Like so. Delete the middle one. Uh, we put my name on the, the other side. The candidate name. And then it says here, display the, the web pages on screen, make sure the content is visible, take a screenshot of the web pages and paste them into WA1. So I need to get each web page this time and open them up. London. So hopefully if the hyperlinks work, I don't need to open them all up. I just need to basically click and do command shift. Uh, perhaps just command and move this out so you can read it. Just command and minus, so you can see it all. That's fine. So command shift and four means I select it, select the whole thing. Click on Hong Kong, do the same command and minus, and then shift command and four. Click on Chennai, command and minus. Right. Uh, we've selected them all. And all I need to do next is put all of these into the documents here. Drag them all in. It should. Oh, I put them all into the footers. I don't want to do that. That's the worst place to put them. Drag them all again into there. Boom. Da, 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 da. And I believe on the next part it says I just need to save them. Uh, I just save and print, so I just command and S and I save. And task WA1 and save them to the right folder. 
So this was task three, save. And the final part is actually a bit about, a bit more questioning, it's the high level of thinking. Answer these two questions on document WA2. Uh, of course, up here it says open document using word processing software and the WA2 and you can take details. So new document. And I can just double click and but I do prefer having it all laid out for me, so I'm a bit OCD that way. So I just go insert, shift, uh, sorry, head and footer, and I select here. And task WA2, delete the middle one, and put my candidate name on the other side. And all I need to do now is... Um, Right, first of all, one format technique you've used and where you've used it on your web pages. Well, format is just when I've used bold, I made uh, font sizes bigger. Um, and so, here, a formatting technique I have used is to uh, uh, use different font styles and sizes for the titles and the main body. This is so it is easier to recognize the different parts of the web page. And then the other one, this is A, oops, A, and the other one is B. B, which is open the web page, open the London web page, and display the code for the web page, highlight the link to the Hong Kong uh, web page, copy the code you've highlighted. So I just need to go back into here. And I need to look at the code this time. File and uh, recent, so it's London. I need to find the Hong Kong one, so I just highlight the Hong Kong, go to source, and I can't see it, but the Hong Kong web page should be. Ah, there we go. This is the this is the highlight. So I highlight this, Shift Command Four, and all I need to do is highlight this. Boom and paste that into the document. Down here, there we go. Boom, and that's that done. It says, make sure the code is clearly visible, resave and print. So I just go file and save. I go as WA2 and save, and I can then print it. Okay, and that is a task, and I've done that in less than 25 minutes i'm oh, sorry less than 35 minutes make sure you save make sure you print and stick to the time limits